And the crowd here at the Superdome loud celebrating knowing that the Saints are going to postseason first and 15 Keith Poole is the third wide receiver for New Orleans. Hand off is to Allen. Terry Allen going around the right side getting good yardage in his first year has taken a three and 13 team to 10 and five at this point. Second down and five and Aaron Brooks to throw his first pass of the game and he completes it to Joe Horn and that'll be a New Orleans first down at the 37 with Jeff Blake got hurt and Brooks coming in and doing the job gets a lot of time and the pocket collapses and a penalty marker or a fumble cause he had to hold on to it. Kevin Carter is able to come in slap that ball away. Kyle Turley like you mentioned he he flopped right on that. Play. I think they just they need to be just smarter play. Third down and ten and Brooks this time has time and throws it and it's intercepted. Dre Bly and he laterals. Perfect example right there. And there is Keith Lyle with the ball. Well, and again they, he's going to have time to throw this football. The Rams just give him coverage sitting back there. They're sitting in the zone and are watching him. One of the things a young quarterback does is what Dre Bly takes advantage of. He stared him down. He stared that thing down. Ricky Cole is in the game at wide receiver number 87 and the pitch going to Marshall Falk. He's got blocking and he's got running room and he has tackled about a yard and a half short of the first down. But he's feeling better and of course Kurt Warner according to Mike Martz the sharpest he has been on first down here is Marshall Falk. Yes he has that burst and he gets another first down inside the same 15 yard line. Trips on the left side three wide receivers for the Rams pressure coming up and a swing pass to Falk. He's at the five and Marshall Falk goes in for the touchdown. And now Falk needing only one touchdown to tie the NFL record for most scores in a season. This is a hot read. They bring the backer that side and the ball two things have to happen. The receiver has to recognize it and the quarterback has to also see it. But then downfield if you're Torrey Holt you have to do your job and you're more than a receiver. We talked about at the start you're going to get a healthy dose of Marshall Falk and they're going to continue to do it all game long. Jeff Wilkins kicking off again and Fred McAfee at the goal line and he hands off to Terry Allen on the reverse Terry Allen and a flag goes down Allen with one man to beat racing towards the end zone but a penalty marker is down and Terry Allen will get there but they're going to call this one back you knew the impetus came from the back and then they're going to throw it. second and 12 from the seven yard line and the give is to Gerald Moore with a burst and Gerald Moore with two defenders and gets close to midfield. So there they are again. Brooks with time up the middle. And the pass is incomplete. And Warner stepping up. And the pass off the hands of Isaac Cruz. Incomplete. Third down and five. That's Keith Poole going in motion. And the Saints pass. Joe Horn. And that'll be a first down into Ram territories. Brooks getting the pressure and a fumble. Todd Light creating the fumble and the ball knocked away. And it is recovered by the Saints, but back on their own 44 yard line. So he steps up, slaps the ball away. There's the ball flopping around. Todd Light did a good job of keeping it alive. First down on the 30 yard line. And Kurt Warner will go down, and the sack will end the first quarter. And it was Willie Whitehead who led the way. And third down and six. And there you see Kroll and Asa King in motion to the left side. Third down and six. Kurt Warner stepping up, and the pass is caught, and a big catch by Ricky Kroll. Second and ten on the St. Louis 48. And the pitch to Marshall Falk. He's got the first back, and Marshall Falk is hit close to the first down at the 42-yard line. And we'll have a personal foul coming up. And as Pam Oliver pointed out, these teams don't like each other, and Falk in the middle of it. What? Marshall Falk, that is so uncharacteristic of Marshall Falk. Third down and five, empty backfield. Let's see what Warner does. Under pressure, his pass, and it's incomplete. Intended for Torrey Holt. Third down and nine at the 10. DeMarco Farr, who did not 
start is in the game of defensive tackle and here is the run up the middle by Brooks short of the first down they would like to end up in a tie for first place even though they may be out of the playoffs so Kurt Warner who complained of headaches on the sideline has a first down on the 41 of the Rams and his pass is intercepted and this will be a touchdown Darren Smith will run it in well if he didn't have a bad headache before this play he's going to have a major one this time because this one Dick is on him the ball was thrown behind it was not his usual accuracy tried to hit Mike Bruce going across the middle but that's extension headache number 54 right there Boy, that's that's in migraine territory Doug Bryan with the extra point is good free agent pickup from San Diego many of them have worked big time as Marshall fought off the left side going down the sideline and ridden out of bounds by Darren Perry third down and nine out of the shotgun and here they come and the pass is caught by Prohl and Ricky Prohl getting beyond the defense make Saints winning the first meeting 31 to 24 a month ago on the pitch here is Marshall Falk with the burners and he gets the first down inside the 20 yard line and second down and four and again they go with Watson Watson bursting up the middle they need a win and a lion loss Lions were up 10 to nothing and now it's a 10 to 6 game Bears coming back and the handoff to Marshall Falk and the lock Saints stop him in his tracks big defensive play by the Orleans led by Sammy Knight so Jeff Wilkins who has not missed anything this year keeps his record perfect Four wide receivers for the Saints second down and four and the slant, Jake Reed with the catch and the first down here's Brooks and the pass incomplete no sense anyway Dickie He's got to try to throw the ball to the outside. First down on the 23 yard line, and Kurt Warner with a deep pass, and it is caught by Torrey Holt, spinning around and going out of bounds into Wallen's territory. So second leading receiver for the Rams on the season. Play action for Warner, and there is Isaac Bruce reaching up to make the grab. Going to throw caution to the wind, and so far that's what the Rams are doing here. Starting the second half, and here is the screen pass. Falk makes the grab, and that could have been intercepted, deflected, you name it. But Falk managed to make the catch on the great touch. And second and eight, the ball at the 14 yard line. The Rams leading by three. Here is Warner trying to hang in there, but he can't. And Leroy Glover and Norman Hand leading the NFL now with 17 sacks. Sending the Rams back to the 21, and the pass inside the five to Holt is incomplete. And another big stop that time by the Saints defense. A 39-yard attempt by Jeff Wilkins, and this kick is good. So Wilkins now with 20 field goals in a row going back to last season. Now the Rams, uh, amazingly enough, breaking their all-time scoring record as Fred McAfee returns the kickoff. And second effort, McAfee breaks out of the pack and carries it out to the 37 yard line third and seven at the 40 yard line Chad Morton in motion Brooks has time and throws oh. it incomplete Kurt Warner walking off suffering a mild concussion after a helmet to helmet collision in the first half questionable as to whether he'll be back this is his eighth appearance of the year it started five games so green in for Warner and the Rams starting from the 26 yard line and Trent Green looking to throw will not get a chance Norman hand that time and that will be the third sack for the Saints the sack leaders of the league third and 14 out of the shotgun Green gets hit and this pass goes awry with a first down from their 33 yard line trailing by six Aaron Brooks being chased and London Fletcher with good penetration and a big loss and he says it's attitude that kept him going second and 11 Falk again on the running play here's Marshall Falk 
Jim Wait, finished that run, Dick? Yes. He finished it right at the end. And in the league, first and ten at the 43-yard line, and they go to Falk again. The running game has been working today for the Rams, as you pointed out early. The power game more than the game through the air. All right? time. <laughs> well, he's back in. Marshall Falk, the third and ten from the 47-yard line, and the pass caught. Two receivers in the same neighborhood, and Torrey Holt winds up with it to the slot on the right. And here is Marshall Falk, and nothing there as. Darren Howard with the stop, and there you see the dance done by all four when the flag goes down. Well, you talk about, you know, Marshall Falk gets stopped right inside. Everybody now watch, he's just going to take him and just wham. That looks like two, you know, that's 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 freestyle. That's Personal freestyle. foul, unnecessary roughness, defense, number 23. Hey, half the distance to the goal. It's the Kevin Mathis. He just cussing somebody out there. First and goal at the nine, and the Saints shooting themselves in the foot with six penalties for 43 yards. The automatic first down, and here is Falk off the left side. He's going to go in. Touchdown for Marshall Falk, and he has tied Emmett Smith for the most touchdowns in a season with 25. Watch the blocking to the outside. This is really nicely done right there by Roland Williams. Orlando Pace had himself a nice, did a nice job. The receivers did a good job of taking the safeties away. On the year, they are four for eight on two-point conversions. They lead 19 to seven, trying to make a 21 into the hands of Falk. Nothing doing. The two-point conversion fails. Rams lead 19 to seven, and a victory by the Rams and a loss by the Lions will put them in the playoffs and a chance to defend their Super Bowl championship. Jeff Wilkins. On the kickoff, and Fred McAfee, a yard in the end zone. McAfee returning to the 25. Good speed, McAfee still going. And finally brought down near midfield by Taji Allen. Saints converting only one of seven on third down. Brooks on the slam. Joe Horn, first down. Joe Horn inside the 35 and steps out of bounds. So a big third down play by the Saints third and 12 no one really split wide for the Saints pump fake and the pass underneath and fumble and it's picked up by the Saints and down they go so <laughs> Kyle Turley got tackled by Todd Light didn't like it oh, how about that, uh, Look at that at going the into Dre Bly giving him a shoulder Second play of the fourth quarter, Dick Stockton, Matt Millen, Pam Oliver, third and six coming up for Trent Green and the Rams and the handoff to Marshall Falk. He breaks it first down and Falk up to the 36. First down with one minute gone in the fourth. Trent Green from the 36-yard line up the middle, deflected, and may have been caught on the rebound. Roland Williams deflected it, and Isaac Bruce makes the catch in St. Territory. Just like they draw it up, Dick. Rams have only one timeout left. Green getting pressure up the middle, and the pass knocked down, incomplete. Second and ten. Here comes a corner blitz, and Brooks getting rid of it downfield. He completes the pass to Willie Jackson. Still in play. And Willie Jackson, and that may be the longest play of the day by the Saints. Dre Bly brings him down. It is 41-yard pass play. Second and 10. He's got three wide receivers. Gets hit again. And this pass off the hands of Joe Horn. And a flag is down. Back to the line of scrimmage. There he is inside. Personal foul. Roughing the passer. Defense, number 41. See, see that? See how he jumped up in his face? So they have stung. First down for the Saints on the St. Louis 38 with time. The pass. Beautiful. Uh, great catch by Keith Poole. And he did not hold on. Let's see. Not hold on. He got he drilled him. Trailing by 12. And here is Aaron Brooks being flushed away. And he gets rid of it. And the pass is caught. The flag is down. Watch is working right here on Joe Horn. And there it is. Mm. So Todd Light, who was uh, called for roughing the passer Bad call. just a few moments ago, gets called for illegal contact. And Brian Milne going in motion. And Brooks on the slant completes to Willie Jackson. Jackson's going to score. Oh, what a nice call. 
That was a really good call there. 28 yards for the first Saints offensive touchdown of the game. And they're back in it. And by faking the screen, everybody streams. And by streaming, they open this up. That is that's the first time I've seen that play. I like that play. Six touchdown catch of the year for Willie Jackson. And now Doug Ryan on for the extra point, And the kick is good. Saw it, and he told the coaching staff so they can relay it down. Second down and three at the 28. And here is Robert Holcomb with one of his rare carries. And he runs it out off the right side for a first down to second and six. Safety up. Green has time, and it's caught at the 45 by Torrey Holt. Second and seven on the same 41. Here's Green going the other way on a screen pass to Ernie Conwell, and the tight end gets the first down for the Rams. To the Here it's second and 20 at the 43. Trent Green on the design rollout, and he is going deep, and wide open is Torrey Holt, and Holt is out of bounds at the one yard line. Watch the, again anticipation. See Fred Thomas looks to the inside puts the safety in a bind. No way he can get back there. See where his hand was to the left side and went out of bounds at that point. Marshall Falk leaping and scoring oh. and Marshall Falk has set an NFL record with his 26th touchdown of the season. Well and just to complete our loveathon here with Marshall Falk. Well deserved, it, uh, I might No did. question about it. Because remember way back in the first quarter, and I said they ticked him off, they got after him, and they said they're going to be in danger of Marshall Falk taking this game over. You read his mind. And he did just that. The Blake went out with injuries, second down and 10 at the 40. Brooks being chased by Leonard Little. And the comeback pattern, and the pass is caught. And uh, just short of the first down, Robert Wilson makes the grab in the cold at Giants Stadium. We remember those scenes. Aaron Brooks on first and ten with plenty of time. Completes to Jake Reed. Reed with a first down of the 31-yard line on second and ten. Out of the shotgun from the 31-yard line. Giving ground is Brooks. Being chased by Carter from behind, and Brooks will go out of bounds. Third down and one. There's a fake by Brooks. Completes it to Horn for the foul. Touchdown, Saints. So Brooks has thrown two touchdown passes here in the fourth quarter. This 22 yards. They backed everybody off. He sat down right in the middle. He's wait, look, wait, 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 wait. Dexter McCleon was in between. He had to look at Willie Jackson and also Joe Horn. But it wasn't until he found them and he was able to turn it, hit the Jets, and get upfield. Rams have had problems against the onside kick including one time that the Saints were able to engineer one it is no onside kick and they're going to kick it deep relying on their defense awesome key falling down and going down at the 10 and a flag goes down on the 30 yard line as well and faces second and five from the 10 nothing fancy Marshall Falk looking for running room turns the corner gets the first down and a big game for Marshall Falk to the 47-yard line. Is he smart? First down on the 46. Here's Marshall Falk. And Falk diving into St. Territory. Now they will take a knee and finish the game. So the St. Louis Rams accomplished their part of it. They defeat the New Orleans Saints today by a score of 26-21. And to them, finish 10-6 on the season and the Saints also 10 and 6 on the year but Lions Bears tied at 20 12 seconds to go fourth and one McNown from the shotgun throws has Jay Mallon steps out of bound at the 37 that Edinger lines up 54 yards it would knock the Lions out of the playoffs the kick is up and it is good it is good with two seconds to go. The Lions will need a miracle now to make the postseason. This is not a situation for Detroit where you can have something in the playbook. It's, this is just something that's just going to happen if it can happen.
Kicks it short. Desmond Howard takes it at the 28. Howard back to the 40, to the 45, to the 50. Still going, but stopped just across midfield at the 45. And that's it. The Bears pull off the upset. The Rams move on to the playoffs after the Lions lose 23 to 20.